हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सी एट साइंस थर्ड चैप्टर सिंथेटिक फाइबर्स इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव सीन अबाउट द डिफरेंट काइंड्स ऑफ सिंथेटिक फाइबर्स सो नाउ जस्ट विल डिस्कस एक्टिविटी वन टेक एन आयर्न स्टैंड विथ अ क्लैम Take a cotton thread of about sixty centimeter length. Tie it to the clamp so that it hang freely from it. At the free end, suspend a pan so that weight can be placed in it. Add weight one by one till the thread break. Note down the total weight required to break the. thread this weight indicates the strength of the fiber repeat the same activity with the thread of wool polyester silk and nylon so yes when you done the activity tabulate the data as shown in table and arrange the threads in order to their increasing strength so yes the activity and here we need to take the precaution that all threads should be of the same length and almost of the same thickness yes thickness and length is very important so repeat the same activity with the threads of wool polyester silk nylon and tabulate the da data as shown in the table and arrange the threads in order of their increasing strength so as uh, you are aware the nylon is the greatest strength so if uh, when you do the experiment when you done the experiment this experiment is very easy so when you complete the experiment you find out that nylon has a more strength yes we have seen now that if we compare the strength with the steel wires so it is more strength than the steel wire so it require more strength and cotton having the very less strength because it is made with the thin fibers and this as compared to the wool silk and nylon the nylon is the highest and cotton has the lowest strength so uh, now we will see the polyester and acrylic polyester is another synthetic fiber so this fabric made from this fiber does not get wrinkle easily it remains crisp and easy to wash so it is quite suitable for making dress materials so you must have seen the people wearing the nice polyester shirts and other dresses terrilene is a popular polyester it can be drawn into very fine fibers that can be woven in woven like any other yarn so yes synthetic fiber whenever we are considering so polyester is one of the famous synthetic fiber as it does not wrinkle easily and it is very easy to wash so so many polyester dress materials shorts okay uh, you have seen so this is the reason behind this now polyester and acrylic so you see here uh, one girl is there and she is saying that my mother always buy the pet bottles and pet jar for storing rice and sugar but she is wondered about the pet so yes pet is a very familiar form of the polyester so it is a very famous form of the polyester polyvinyl tetra okay so it is used for making bottles utensils films wires and many other useful products so actually polyester is a combination of poly plus ester and yes the, there is again uh, repeated unit and so many things or so many materials so many uh, useful products are made with this pet 
now polyester and acrylic so uh, we wear the sweaters and huge shawls or blankets in the winter such shawls or wool they resemble like the wool but they are not made with the real wool as we are discussing that production is very limited so the cost is obviously very more than this uh, synthetic wool so this prepared from the another type of synthetic fiber which is known as the acrylic so acrylic is resemble like the wool the wool obtained from the natural source is quite expensive and whereas the clothes made from acrylic are relatively cheap so now we will see polyester and acrylic we wear sweaters and huge shawls or blankets in the winter why we are we uh, why we are using uh, sweaters and shawls we are taking or blankets yes because they keep us warm in winter so many of these are actually not made from natural wool though they appear to resemble wool means you are aware that uh, Uh, wool how we are getting from the sheep and this process is very long and as limited production is there so the cost is very high so uh, although they appear like the wool its cost means those uh, shawls those sweaters who made with the synthetic fibers so uh, they are in very cheap so these are prepared from another type of synthetic fiber which are called as acrylic and the wool obtained from the natural source is quite expensive whereas clothes made from acrylic as are relatively cheap so when we are considering plastic so yes bakelite is a poor conductor of heat and electricity it is used for making electric switches handles of various utensils we we'll, as you are aware that we are using the so many frying pans are there so the handles are made with the pure con uh, means very poor conductor of heat because yes if they get they if they are good conductor so what happen yes there is no any kind of use to uh means of that handles we are not able to use because it also get warm another very famous plastic is the melamine so melamine is the is a versatile material it resist fire and can tolerate heat better than other plastic it is used for making floor tiles kitchenware and fabrics to resist fire so plastic we can uh, use as material of choice so better lighter as compared to metals plastics are used in cars aircrafts and spacecrafts too the list is endless if we start counting the articles like the sleepers furniture decorative pieces etc so plastic is non reactive the very important characteristic um, is metals like iron get rusted when left exposed to moisture and air but plastic do not react with water and air so they do not corrode very easily that is why they are used to store various kinds of materials including many chemicals so maybe you have seen in your science lab that so many chemicals are kept in the plastic bottles as it is not miss plastic is not reacting with any kind of chemical plastic is light strong and durable so since plastic is very light strong durable and it can be molded into different shapes and size as you are aware about the thermo yes thermo
plastic and thermoplastic so the plastics are generally cheaper than metals and they are widely used in industries and for household articles plastics are poor conductors so yes uh, as you are aware the plastic is very poor conductor of heat and electricity it uh, uh, means that is the reason why electrical wires have the plastic coating or covering and handles of the screw driver are made with the plastic as mentioned above the handles of the frying pans are also made of plastic as it is very poor conductor of heat a material means now we have seen the plastic its uses so how the plastic and the environment a material which gets decomposed through the natural processes such as action of a bacteria it's called biodegradable a material which is not easily decomposed by natural processes is termed as non biodegradable so see plastic and the environment if we consider so uh, just see the table in this table the first uh, uh, column indicates the type of uh, plastic the second uh, column indicates the approximate time taken to degenerate and the third the nature of the material so see here if we consider the pills of vegetables and fruits so uh, to degenerate it took 1 to 2 week and yes it is biodegradable if you consider the paper so 10 to 30 days required to degenerate and yes it is biodegradable then uh, cotton cloth required 2 to 4 to months to degenerate and yes it is biodegradable wood required 10 to 15 years to degenerate and biodegradable woolen cloth required or took a year to degenerate and it's biodegradable tin aluminum and other metal cans took 100 to 500 years to degenerate okay but uh, means it is not is it uh, biodegradable biodegradable so it's non biodegradable plastic bags means a uh, thousands of years are required or it is a non biodegradable so from this chart you got that plastic requires several years and it is non biodegradable so since plastic takes several years to decompose it is not environment friendly it causes environmental pollution besides the burning process in the uh, synthetic material is quite slow and it does not get completely burnt easily in the process it releases the lots of poisonous fumes into atmosphere causing air pollution avoid the use of plastic as far as possible make use of bags made by the cotton or jute when you go so uh, you need to use the cotton bags or the jute bags when you go for shopping the biodegradable uh, and non biodegradable waste should be collected separately and disposed of separately so it is the better to recycle the plastic waste most of the thermoplastic can be recycled make the list of the atom that can be recycled so you can make the list of the atoms which can be recycled see as a responsible citizen we need to remember the four r principle and which these four r's reduce means here we need to minimize the use of plastic reuse means once 
uh, you have used a suppose when carry back so don't throw it use it again and again so it is the reuse recycle means yes you need to recycle and the last one is recover so all these four uh, principles if you keep in mind and uh, if you follow these four r so this habits actually uh, uh, means we can say it is environment environmental friendly so see some uh, things we need to keep in mind that do not throw the plastic bags in the water bodies or on the road take a cotton carry bag or a jute bag while going for shopping try to minimize the use of plastic material use a steel lunch box instead of plastic one so in this way we have seen the